Our top story, the long-delayed attempt of rehabilitating slum colonies in Mumbai may get a kickstart very soon. Maharashtra's draft housing policy is drawing up a new game plan to help execute slum redevelopment projects in a phased manner. Nikhil Narayan Shivdas reports. Land in Mumbai is costly, but with nearly 60% of the population living in slums, housing is a stark problem that cannot be ignored. But now there's new hope from the proposed state housing policy, which aims to make Mumbai slum-free by 2022. There is at least something new if you're talking about salt pans, if you're talking about TPS, if you're talking about time-bound approach to this whole thing. So that these are all positive steps in uh, ensuring that a proper housing is provided to all. As a first step, the SRA will be tasked with conducting a survey of all slums and eligible slum dwellers in the city within six months. This information will be used to develop a master plan to redevelop slums on the lines of a town planning scheme. What's different this time around is the time limit being considered. Slum dwellers will be given one year to choose their own private developers to redevelop their slums. Failing which, the SRA will take a year to invite bids on its own. In case private developers are unwilling, then the SRA in the third year will provide viability gap funding of up to 40% of the project cost to make redevelopment attractive. Which means that no matter which method is chosen, work will begin within three years. The new housing policy gives a time limit for a slum, for the builder, etc. Et because of this time limit, and if it is really implemented honestly, uh, I'm sure uh, this entire city will be free of it. Uh, as part of its plans to restart stall projects, the government will cancel redevelopment contracts if no development has taken place for more than a year. Additionally, the government is also considering amending the Slum Act to ensure that non-participants in a slum scheme will be evicted if more than 50% of slum dwellers have been shifted out, a move that will help resolve the many stalled slum rehabilitation projects in the city. The SRA will also offer to redevelop slums located on government lands in exchange for agency fees or a portion of the ready reckoner rate of the land. Slums on private land have to be redeveloped within two years, either privately or in partnership with MADA. Otherwise, it will have to be sold to the government for a portion of the ready reckoner rates and TDI benefits failing which it will be acquired by the government under the Land Acquisition Act. However, experts say that this will be a problem. Just taking the whole private land owners for granted in this manner with a time-bound uh, uh, situation will not really work out well because I'm sure all these private landholders will go to the courts etc and seek some intervention and it's going to be a time-consuming job so I don't think it's going to work out so easily. In cases where slums cannot be redeveloped on site and will have to be shifted to other locations, the government is considering opening up over 400 acres of salt pan land in Mulund East, which can go a long way in providing low-cost housing for the present. So far, slum rehabilitation in Mumbai has achieved only about 10% of its intended target. Now one can only hope that the new government is more serious with its housing policy and Mumbai's slum problem is solved once and for all. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shivdas, NDTV.